Hello, let's understand distance vector algorithm for routing in the network. Is the decentralized algorithm and iterative in nature? I mean, each router in the network aware of only its neighbor information and every given time routers are exchanging their information. This is the basic principle of distance vector algorithm. And secondly, it uses Bellman Ford equation for computing least cost path. Let's understand Bellman Ford equation first and how this Bellman Ford equation is used for it, uh, distance vector algorithm. So this is the Bellman Ford equation. It's given like this. Least cost path from x to y is the minimum cost from x to v. V is the neighbor and from v to y minimum path. The sum is the minimum path from x to y. So let's understand like this. For this graph abstraction to a set of routers, u is the router. Uh, U is the source, Z is the destination and X, B, W are the neighbor nodes. This cost is known. U knows this, this and this value. Other values are not known to U. And from X to Z minimum value is 3. V to Z the least cost path is this having the value 5 and W to Z least cost value is this. This is what given here. So now with this information from u to z the least cost path is if I travel via x it is 4. If I travel via v it will come around 2 plus 5 7. If I travel via w it will come around 5 plus 3 8. So that is given here. Among this, which is the least one value? So, via x, that is 4 is the least cost. So, that indicates from u to the destination z, via x is the least cost value. So, like this, this is computed at each router. And again, every given time slice, the value exchange takes place. So, this Melbourne Ford equation is used for distance vector algorithm. So, distance vector is the vector indicates source to y what is the least cost part. Here, each source is having set of neighbor. The cost from source to neighbor is known and neighbor to destination is unknown. So, in, in the initial stage and later when the information sharing takes place, so the, the values will be updated. I'll explain you, illustrate this with the help of example. Let's consider this example. In this case, see, let's consider only three routers. In the initial stage, x, y, z are known only about their neighbors. So distance vector is drawn like this. This is the distance vector table. What it is telling in the beginning, x to x is 0, x to y is 2, x to z is 7. I know x, if I am at x, I know only about this information and this information. What about y to other nodes? Don't know. What about z to other nodes? Don't know. So those are treated as infinity. Similarly, if I am at y, y to other nodes I know because this is the distance vector computed at y. But x values I don't know. z to other nodes I don't know. Similarly, if I am at z, Z to other nodes I know, but being at Z, X and Y to other nodes are known. I mean in the initial stage, each router is knowing only about its neighbor. Other router information is unavailable. Later on what happens, after the given some time slice, router exchanges the information. I mean X is sharing its table with Y and Z. Y is sharing its table with X and Z. When the neighbor node information is shared, then the distance vector gets updated. See, in this case, consider when X receives information from Y and Z. So, the, this value is updated. Say, for example, earlier 
hear it yes we don't know about y information now after receiving this table so y to other node information can be updated so y to x earlier it was not known so infinity now this table tells y to x is 2 so 2 is added here next y to y is 0 y to z is 1 this is added here like this y's information after receiving this table is updated similarly z information after receiving this table is updated the most important thing here to be observed this value see earlier we were knowing x to z direct value that is 7 but later on after in receiving the values so that is the table of y y to z is 1 this is 1 and x to y is 2 so 2 plus 1 is 3 of course the 3 value 3 is less than 7 so we are updating changing value 7 earlier we were not knowing this direction but now we came to know about y's information so 7 is replaced by 3 so here we are making use of Bellman-Ford equation to compute the distance vector. So thus each router here computes distance vector. Again the information sharing takes place. It continues until there is no change. So this is how Bellman-Ford equation is. So this is how Bellman-Ford equation used for computing distance vector algorithm. So now as I told you there are two algorithm link state algorithm and distance vector algorithm are basic fundamental algorithms.